Don't forget to get your new AI-generated Alien Fan Club shirt. This merch has seven AI-generated images on it. I love this one. You can spend hours unfolding the universe within this fabric. Get yours now. Link on the screen, link in the description. Go get it! Hey, what's up? Today we're doing another Your Stupid video where we look at the people of the world that aren't using their brains properly and... Yeah, that's about it. Let's do it! This is your stupid number... I can't remember. Let's do it! What else is new? When can I ever remember the numbers of these friggin' episodes? The secret is I can't count past ten. I got a guy. I got a guy that numbers all my videos for me. Don't worry about it. I got a guy. Hey. What's up? No, you gotta show your face in this video, okay? People are worried about you. Come here. Come up here. Come up here. Come here. Yeah, show your face. See? See? She's okay. She is here. She's just curled in the corner. Okay? Okay, go back to sleep now. Dreams up in smoke. French council worker who spent eight years assembling 700,000 matchsticks into 23-foot Eiffel Tower has Guinness World Record entry rejected for using the wrong type of matches. And then what did you do? Just set it on fire? I mean, it's still pretty impressive. Can we just add another record in for this guy with those matchsticks? Maybe just, you know, start it from scratch? I just think this is a very stupid oversight on this person's part because you should have read all the rules. If you're trying to get a Guinness World Record, you know there's always these little details that could lose the whole thing. Like he probably wasn't wearing the, a French hat while he did it. You, you gotta wear a French hat while you build the Eiffel Tower. You gotta look into the rules beforehand. I'm not saying she's right, but I get it. Florida woman kidnaps scientists to make her dog immortal. Well... Did it work? I kind of want to make my chihuahua immortal. What about you, Nova? Do you want to be immortal? I don't know. Yeah, Nova, you want to be immortal? You want to come with me to kidnap a scientist? Nova? Oh, you just realized I was talking to you? Oh, hello. She says yes. She wants to be immortal. She wants to outlive us all. I'm gonna guess that drugs were somehow involved in this whole kidnapping a scientist, if this even really happened, because as far as I know, this could have not happened, because I'm really just taking the words attached to this picture as a fact right now, which is something you shouldn't do, okay? Bad. Don't take memes as fact. Do your fact checking. You have to do that with the internet these days. I don't do a lot of fact checking. It's a problem. I'm trying to do that better. But when I was 17, I worked at a bagel place and each night we loaded dumpsters of bagels from the day. A homeless man came in and asked for a bagel. Rather than throw them out, I gave him a few in a plastic bag. My boss reviewed the cameras and fired me for feeding the animals. What in the hell? Well, he wasn't doing anything wrong. It was a starving fellow human being and he was throwing out day old bagels. Instead of making this guy dig them out of the dumpster, yeah, just give him a few in a plastic bag because he's probably gonna go in the dumpster and take them anyway. Ugh. That is a horrible reason to get fired. I am literally locked inside 24-hour fitness right now. They closed the doors and went home while I was swimming my laps in the pool. Doesn't the name suggest that they stay open 24 hours? Walking around trying to figure out how to get out. I called Sandy Dispatch. They told me they'd call me back. I called my wife and she said, find a comfortable place to sleep, lol. Oh, uh, your wife doesn't sound concerned at all. Actually, your wife probably paid them to lock you in there. She wanted a 24-hour break from you. Probably. I mean, I could see my wife wife wanting a 24-hour break from me. I talk a lot. He looks like he's dealing with the situation quite well. I mean, how do you get locked in somewhere, though? Can't you just go up to the door and, like, unclick the lock pad and go out of the building? I just feel like getting locked inside somewhere is kind of hard to do. What kind of lock system do they have? Maybe it's, it's got to be like an alarm system, I guess. Man, just bust that alarm system open and be like, I wasn't breaking in, I was breaking out. At this point, is he not allowed to steal something? Like, at least one item. He should get, like, a prize to take home with him since he got stuck there all night. Smuggle yourself out a dumbbell or something. Is there anything more annoying than Taylor Swift at a football game? Yeah, I can think of a lot of things way more annoying than that. My children, for one, they're pretty annoying most of the time. Over 14 million impressions. I want to personally thank all the psychotic Taylor Swift fans triggered by this post for making my car payment this month. If you need X impressions to make your car payment, 
entertainment, then you need to rethink your life. I think it's funny that this guy's like, oh my god, all these people that got triggered by my post. You got triggered by Taylor Swift's presence. She was just enjoying a hockey game and you got triggered. So don't be trying to act like you're not an easily triggered person, okay? $160 parking ticket. Fuck you, Virginia Beach. Nice, how fast? Did you just ask me how fast I was going on a parking ticket? It was zero. Wow, $160, where did you park? That seems like a pretty steep parking ticket. Were you taking up 12 spaces? Were you parked like on top of a fire hydrant? You know, not next to one, but literally, like, parked on top of it. And also, that happened to be a handicapped spot. School district pulls to kill a mockingbird from reading list. Makes people uncomfortable, officials say. That's the point of the book! Found on our serve life. Thought it belonged here. Face palm, okay. No tip given due to server wearing mask. This makes for a horrible dining experience. Please stop having servers wear masks. It's disgusting and disrespectful. What the hell are you talking about? That server was probably either wearing a mask to protect herself or to protect you because maybe she came down with a cold recently or something. It's not always just some stupid agenda. Oh, the people that are so angry about masks, it's pretty funny, actually. Why are you so mad about it? <laughs> like, who gives a shit? Who cares if someone wants to wear a mask to make themselves feel more comfortable? Then let them wear their mask. Who gives a shit? Dear anonymous passerby, don't worry, you're safe now. Your act of casual cruelty was successful. The complaint you lodged with the HOA was heard. They had me take down the small tree fort that I built on this location with my sons during the pandemic. No longer will its presence offend your walk past my house. Please enjoy your stroll free from the sound of my children's play and laughter. They are safely back inside, watching television, I'm sure. Enjoy the unobstructed view of my backyard. I will try to keep it up to code. Best, Dave. You better be careful, because if you're walking past Dave's lawn every day, if you're walking through what looks like a wooded area that belongs to him, maybe he'll start setting traps out there. Maybe he's got a bear problem, I don't know. Here's what looks like a student doing a presentation at a in front of their class. Is slavery always bad? I'm not even gonna read the pros and cons. Slavery is never good, it is always bad, all right? It is bad to have someone and force them to do things for you. It is bad to own people. Slavery is bad. New Yorker built igloo in Brooklyn and lists it on Airbnb for $200. Oh, wow, and it's been booked up 12 months straight. Although, I don't know how in the warmer months it's gonna hold up, but that's fine, because they're gonna sit on a puddle. It's gonna be the Airbnb big wet puddle. Teen discovers that anonymous cyberbully who harassed her for over a year was her own mother. Shit. That is a next level of psychological punishment. Were you just so pissed off at your kid and you couldn't say these things to her face? So she created a persona. Wow. <laughs> I know what happened, okay? Her kids would piss her off during the day and she'd be like, these little shits never do what I say. And then she'd get on her computer after and be like, mommy's gonna go to her office and do some work. She'd just sit there shit talking her daughter all day like, yeah, making herself feel better. Like, oh, I know you felt bad after. It's actually really fucked up that you did that to your daughter, okay? I am always just thinking about how bad I hope that my daughters don't get bullied when they go to high school and this one is bullying her own daughter. This one is horrible. Texas man sentenced to 20 years in prison for killing his friend after losing to her in basketball game. Investigators say he shot her twice in the chest and two more times as she was falling. Only 20 years? Just put him in jail for life. That is an irrational amount of anger. This person is the ultimate sore loser. Holy shit. It was a basketball game. What happens if you lose a basketball game while you're in jail? Then what are you gonna do? Maybe you should just be better at basketball, okay? A gun was not the solution. Practice more, that's the solution. This is what we woke up to this morning. This is how Richmond police left it after arresting whomever was riding the bike. They searched it and just left everything on the street and sidewalk. There are razor blades and numerous personal items. There are several kids that live and play here. We have spoken with RPD and they stated it's not their responsibility to clean up the mess they've made. What? <laughs> Whose responsibility is it? That is just disrespectful. I don't, I don't know. Even if this person broke the law and did some bullshit, the least you could do is put their stuff away and put it back how you found it, all right? You're just leaving all their personal shit all over the floor in the dirty ground. And like this woman said, you're leaving sharp items like razor blades when you know you're, it's a neighborhood where children are running around. It's not only disrespectful to the criminal, but it's disrespectful to the whole neighborhood. Damn. Do better.
do better. State prisoners. Everything is fine. This person took a picture of this state prisoner's bus and zoomed up and saw that it's not locked. Everything is fine. Hmm. Did the prisoners break out? That's all I'd be thinking is, uh, should I be more concerned? Like, was there a breakout that just happened? They're just trying to make it easy, okay? If the prisoners want to leave, they can leave. They're not in jail. Well, okay, they are. My girl told me her car wasn't driving smooth. I seem to have spotted the problem. Your tire has a tumor. Yes, damn. At what point did you stop? Cause you went from like 33 is the tire pressure and you went all the way up to 102. At some point, didn't you feel like you were gonna pop it? Okay, now it's warping. That must mean it's full enough. Fox 11, don't wear your Apple Vision Pro headset while driving company says. And these ones always make me laugh cause you know if they had to say it, Somebody went driving with it on. It's a virtual reality headset. And they're like, now my world is always virtual. They got in a car and just started smashing into people. And they're like, well, I don't see it in the headset, so I must be fine. Well, anyway, that's about all I've got for today. So I will see you again soon. Come up to your screen real quick. <gasps> Boop. Uh, check out the merchandise over at my fluffy merch store over at Fourth Wall, and check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks. Bye.